going on everybody? This is Sean Ross Like Music. I am finally back with a new video and today I wanted to do a super quick record roundup video. I've got these five records right here and these are records that I think are worth noting but I didn't think that I would probably get around to doing individual videos for all of them. So I'm just going to compile all of my thoughts and opinions of these guys right here right now for you and let you know why I think all these are worth checking out. So with all that being said, let's talk about these guys. Kicking off with one of the older record pickups first, we got Alpha Mist's Bring Backs released on Anti Records on in 2021. And I don't really have a whole lot to say about this. I think it's a pretty solid modern jazz record that has pretty much all the elements of stuff that I generally like. There's really cool Dilla style beats mixed in with some very jazzy melodies, some cool arrangements, some halfway decent vocals and spoken words mixed in. And in general, I walked away from this this record feeling pretty positive. The keys are really cool, the drums are really tight and swing when they need to, and just everything about this album is very, very solid. I won't go as far as to say that it's one of the most interesting modern jazz records that I've had because I don't think it really does all that much different from a lot of other artists out there, but nonetheless, it's still an incredibly enjoyable record, and that's pretty much all I've got to say about it. So if you haven't given this guy a listen and you want some more modern jazz to add to your collection, you might want to give this guy a shot because it is definitely very, very solid. Speaking of solid, this one actually kind of surprised me. We have Suff Daddy's brand new album, Basically Sober, released on Jakarta Records this year. And as somebody who's been a big fan of Suff Daddy for the longest time, although slightly less enthusiastic about him moving away from his more sample-based stuff and moving more into a keyboard-centric slash electronic music-centric sound, I gotta say this is probably his best album to date. And I think that's largely because this album just knocks that much more than his previous albums, Tom Pet, and his 2017 album, Bird Songs. It contains a little bit of the melancholiness that Bird Songs had, and it has a little bit more bump that was present on Tom Pet, but it feels like all the elements on here, as opposed to those two albums, just feel that much more fleshed out, that much more confident and that much better done. The keyboard sounds just feel that much more interesting. The melodies on here are pretty catchy. The minimal use of sampling on here, largely in the way of like vocal hooks and what I would guess are drum sounds, are all done very, very effectively. My only minor complaint with this record is it does melodically get a little bit samey, even despite the fact that there's quite larger variety of tempos on here than on his previous records. In terms of melody, it does feel like he's using the same melodic motif on a lot of the tracks on here. So it does become a little monotonous in that regard, but ultimately it doesn't really take away from what's generally a very enjoyable record. And if you haven't heard any of Suff Daddy's stuff, this is not a bad place to start. And I definitely recommend that you give it a listen. And seeing as how it is my first record of 2020, it's already my favorite record of the year, so it's got that going for it, too. Next up, we have Bastard Jazz's 20th anniversary 4LP collection, something that came out towards the end of 2021 that I didn't get around to picking up until recently, and I'm quite happy that I did. I've been a big fan, not religiously in love with their stuff, but I definitely am always curious about a lot of the stuff that they put out, and this is a very, very solid collection of the sort of alternative dance music stuff that they've been putting out for 
well, 20 years at this point. It's a little bit light on the more hip hop oriented stuff than I was hoping for, but in general, every track on here is very, very solid. If you're looking for some like really good, largely mid-tempo house tracks, this compilation right here will serve you very well. I have a feeling that I will be running a lot of tracks from here in future live streams, which you can go check out over on my Twitch channel, Ross Select Music Sean, link in the description. All the tunes on here, very party ready, very energetic, very creative, very cool. I love a lot of the stuff that's on here. And the deviations from the house music through line on this record, specifically the track by, by Dead Horse Beats, July, has quickly become one of my favorites from here. And while not a lot of it right now is sticking out in my mind in terms of highlights and things like that, I really do enjoy the overall sound and vibe from this album. And if the idea of uh, all in one party ready to go compilation sounds good to you, yeah, this bastard jazz 20th anniversary compilation, you really can't go wrong with it. So yeah, this one also gets a super high recommendation from me. Okay, there's actually a 10 inch, a seven inch, and a 12 inch that goes along with this, but included in the 10 inch is the CD of this wonderful noise conglomerates compilation that came out all the way back in 2014. And much like the Bastard Jazz compilation, this is a super solid collection of some lesser known New Zealand beat makers, producers, and musicians, probably best known for helping get artists like Lord Echo and Julian Dine, Lady Six on the map, as well as a whole host of other artists. And all I can say is if you really like a lot more electronic infused beat music, this shit's got you covered. If you like more live instrumentation, Afro jazz kind of stuff, this compilation's got you covered too. And it's got some sort of mixing in between that as well, and some deviations into like some new soul kind of stuff as well. Overall, I, I really like this compilation. I'm still trying to get a hold of the 12 inch, but yeah, I'm really happy to have added this to my collection. I should probably do a label love video on Wonderful Noise at some point because they've put out some of the most formative records in probably the last 10 years of my life with Lord Echo, Monkey Sequence, and a whole host of other artists. So I think they definitely need to get their uh, proper praises or flowers as the, the kids are calling it these days. So yeah, if you are at all interested in the underground New Zealand music scene and you're just looking for a solid collection of beats and shit, yeah, Wonderful Noise, Conglomerates, definitely worth checking out. And I'm just gonna leave it there. We got the record that held up my entire order, but I'm so happy to have added it to my collection. And that is another record in the Capote and Delphonic Illegal Jazz series. This is volume six, and it's just a continuation of their amazing, one-of-a-kind edits of classic and underground disco and jazz tracks. And specifically, the one on here that's really worth it is the track Cruisin' Lady, which is a heavily sampled track by the Crusaders off of the LP Streetlight. And the way that they flip this track on here, absolutely beautiful. It has to be heard for yourself. No amount of me explaining it to you is going to do it any justice. And all I can say is if you ever, ever run across any of these, do not sleep on them. They're perfect for bridging the gap between wanting to play out some straight jazz shit, but also still wanting to keep the dance floor moving. Movie, they balance the they balance that vibe so perfectly and that's why I find these records just to be so absolutely indispensable so yeah can't say enough good things about it make sure you pick this up make sure you pick up any of their other volumes because they're all absolutely essential and yeah I guess uh, we're just gonna leave it there so yeah make sure you pick this guy up
So that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching. If you've listened to any of the records in this video, please let me know what you thought about them down in the comments. If you want to hear any of these records for yourself, please head over to my WordPress blog, because that's where I post music links to any of the records that I talk about on this channel. And make sure you go follow me over on Twitch for Live from the Record Room. There I play records like the ones that I talk about in these videos, as well as a whole host of other records in my collection that I don't get a chance to talk about. Links to everything, as always, down in the description. Description. But that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thanks as always for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. So until then, peace out!